hi again so in this video i'm going to teach you how to trace the voltage in the motherboard so this is a very important video where you will understand and learn how to follow and to trace the voltage in any circuit in any motherboard or computer so let's get started first don't forget to like the video share and likes because your likes motivate me to create more and more videos and for anyone who want to follow me and to join me in the patreon page you are very welcome in the patreon page i post and upload many exclusive content laptop schematics etc so let's get started so let's begin with the charge ic circuit so here as you can see we have the dc jack okay so this is the dc jack over here so here we have 19 volt in the dc jack you will find always two pins or usually two pins connected to 19 volt power rail and other pins are connected to the ground as you can see here so these four pins as you can see here connected to the ground and this two pin as you can see is 19 volt so 19 volt as you can see will pass directly through this component okay here we have basically ceramic capacitors with the capacity of 0 0.1 microfarad 25 volt okay as you can see we have 25 volt you know why because here we have 19 volt so this capacitor here in the beginning basically are here for protection and in order to filter the current or the voltage because always when you find ceramic capacitors like this capacitors means they are here to filter the noise to remove the noise in the signal okay so 19 volt will go directly and pass through these capacitors and then through the inductor this is inductor here we have l as you can see so l is for inductor you will find always the reference for inductor is l or pl okay so the inductor here has as a purpose to increase the current of the voltage okay because the voltage could have not enough current that's why we have here inductor to increase the current okay then 19 volt will pass directly through this capacitor also and goes here okay here we have a point over here means we have connection so 19 volt will go directly to the drain of this mosfet and then also it will goes in this direction and also in this direction okay so here we have 19 volt it will go directly in this direction this diode here d4 d is a reference of diode okay is here for protection in order to protect the circuit okay so and 19 volt also will go here to the drain of this mosfet basically this is the drain because we have here four pins connected together okay and over here we have the source and this is the gate and also 19 volt will go also in this direction to this amplifier we're gonna see all this so once 19 volt is present here this mosfet should be driven or controlled it should receive the control signal here in its gate here we have the control signal as you can see adp drive means adapter drive okay so basically this control signal is coming from the super io or super input output and sometimes it can be generated by the charge ic this is the charge ic okay so once this mosfet is activated then the 19 volt will pass through the mosfet pay attention here 19 volt okay because this is just a switch and then goes here and goes directly here here we will get plus v bat 19 volt basically this plus v bat will be distributed to the whole motherboard to all circuit of the motherboard okay and then also 19 volt will go in this direction 
okay and this direction and this direction so we will get here 90 volt in the drain of this MOSFET so pay attention those MOSFET here are for what what is the purpose of this two MOSFET in order to generate the voltage to charge the battery okay so here we have the IC the control IC or the charge IC here we have two MOSFETs we have inductor okay and we have capacitor so let's see this side over here and here we have plus V B D C okay so basically this voltage is to charge the battery so here we will get 19 volt over here okay and as you can see here we have the gate so this is the control signal here we have the drive high over here and for this MOSFET as you can see we have the drive low okay so once this MOSFET are activated or are driven by the IC it will generate a voltage about 8 volt it will generate a voltage okay that will pass through the inductor in order to increase the current and will pass through this is the current sense resistor in order to sense the current and to be sure that the current is enough and then we will get here as you can see the voltage that will charge the battery okay so let's see this circuit also as you can see for this circuit as you can see over here this circuit basically is in order to generate plus 3 volt always and plus 5 volt always two main voltages so here we have the plus 3 volt 5 volt control IC as you can see so this is the control IC and over here we have two channels as you can see so two channels so let's pick another color for example the black color so here we have the first channel as you can see over here and over here we have the second channel as you can see so this channel is for to generate 5 volts and this one to generate plus 3 volts okay what is the main important first let's see the main important component here that can be filled if this circuit for example is failed what is the main component that can be failed we have the control IC we have these two MOSFETs for this channel and also these two MOSFETs for this channel we have the inductor the inductor can be cut we have as you can see this cap capacitor electrolytic capacitor and ceramic capacitor here also we have an electrode capacitor and ceramic capacitor okay and of course we have these capacitors also in the input so this is basically the component that can be failed in this circuit if you have a failed circuit like this you should check the ic mosfets this input capacitor it could be shorted to the ground because here we have the ground the inductor could be a failed inductor a cut inductor so if the inductor for example is is bad you will find here the voltage here and here not we will find for example here 5 volt but here 0 volt okay and this capacitor also are connected to the ground it could be shorted okay so all components that are be connected to the ground could be shorted component except the resistor the resistor can never be shorted to the ground okay so let's trace the voltage here so in order to generate 5 volt okay in order to generate 5 volt we sh we we need 19 volt as you can see this is 19 volt okay here we have 19 volt and here we have 19 volt for, for this channel okay so we have here 19 volt so 19 volt will pass through these two ceramic capacitors in order to be filtered and in order to eliminate the noise in the signal then it will go directly to the drain of this MOSFET so here we will get 19 volt so this MOSFET should receive the control signal drive high from this IC okay so once it receives the control signal from this IC in its gate then it will let the voltage to pass here but it's not the 19 volt the 5 volt will be passed here okay because this MOSFET is a voltage regulator it transforms 19 volt to 5 volt 
by the control of this IC. Okay, then here we will get 5 volt. This 5 volt will pass through this inductor. This inductor will increase the current. Okay, because the 5 volt hand can have a not enough current, so the inductor will increase the current. Then the 5 volt will pass directly through these two capacitors. This capacitor basically will filter the current in order to get a continue voltage, a continue voltage, okay? And then here we have the test point, the pad or the test point. You can check here using the multimeter whether you get 5 volt or not, okay? So, of course, here, for example, let's assume that we get here 6 volts means there is an extra voltage so this mosfet will eliminate the extra voltage and will connect it directly to the ground in order to get just 5 volts and of course here also this point is connected directly as you can see is connected directly to the ic here in order to know whether we get 5 volt or not the same also for this circuit we have here 19 volt 19 volt it will goes directly to the drain of this mosfet after filtered by this capacitor and then this capacitor will receive the drive high signal the control signal then we will get here 3.3 volt here we have 19 volt here we will get 3.3 volt via this voltage regulator the mosfet here is a voltage regulator its reference is q24 okay then here as you can see the 3.3 volt will pass through inductor in order to increase the current and then goes pass through this capacitor in order to filter the current and then we will get here plus 3.3 volt of course you can check this 3.3 volt in this path as you can see okay so this is the main working principle of 3 volt 5 volt circuit and this is how you can follow and trace the voltage using your multimeter in the motherboard but if you understand the schematic you can easily figure out and imagine the schematic while you check or you test or you diagnose your motherboard that's why i focus on understanding schematics in order to be professional in laptop motherboard repairing okay so that's it guys thank you very much and see you in the next video and please don't forget to subscribe share the video for other people like you and please don't forget to like the video because your likes really motivate me to create more and more videos and for anyone who has a question you can ask me in the comment below. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.